Hello, and welcome back to an episode of Amateur Surgeon. Up next is Henchman and Boss. As we learned from Peter, the crime boss in the town was coming to town. Specifically here. Doctor! Doctor! We are drive here to kill person who is hurting all our lovely criminals. But someone has cut our brakes. We crash in the sewer. Really? A sewage farm. Do I see? I don't see what I see. Let's see in the boss. Alan, you must be very, very careful. We need to treat them back to back. I shudder to think what will happen should one of us perish on our table. I understand quickly then. Oh God, do I have to do both of them? At, both of them in one go? I am going to. I don't know what the hell I was thinking there. I am just not going to take that. Now, ouch, indeed. That didn't get sealed. So, <laughs> already he starts with 20 hit points. Or 20 hit points, really? 20 heart rate. This is not loading well. We haven't even. We haven't even really started. Give him another injection, and then we will heal that cut that is on his tooth. I feel like that was kind of weird having a cut on his tooth. Cut right in. What do we got? Leeches. Of course we do. I did see what I s thought I saw. Also, that's a huge flipping cut, and his his flippin um, lungs are just absolutely destroyed. Ah! What do I do? I burn them, don't I? Whoa. What do I do after that? Oh, I pick them up. Ew, 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 ew. Hang on. Never again. Was it me or what the, were those things actually getting bigger the long, longer they were on? I really hope that wasn't the case. Cause <laughs> they're leeches. The last thing you want to do is think about leeches like that. Uh, this game really covers everything, I'll tell you that much. Now, we're going to replace your lungs, you see, because they're kind of old and ratty, and we figured, why not, while your henchman is sitting next to you, needing an operation as well. Okay. Get rid of that. He needs another injection, because working with the chainsaw kills people like crazy. Which then again, when he only has one lung, he probably isn't boating very well at the moment. And through that, pick this up. Through that. And pick these up, put that down, and another injection. Because he will not be able to last the amount of fire I need to put on him. Okay be able to last the healing abilities, but that's about it. Well, I'm not sure what was worse. The fact that there was leeches, or the fact that you had to take out their teeth separately. Yeah. He gave a nice, fresh pair of lungs from good old Jack. Probably feels, he's probably going to take a take his first breath when he wakes up from this and that's much better. Oh goody, and he, he, henchman is even worse. Off. Let's get this out of here and seal it up first. Now, burn you away. Oh 
Okay. And the henchman actually has a higher heart rate. It's rather interesting and also worrying in all things considered. Game. I'll come back to that then. There we go. Sheesh. I don't know what was with that one. I believe I mentioned that before. Sometimes the games. The games, uh. Cut register. Cut registry messes up like that. But let's give him not one but two injections before we go inside, because God knows what's in there. And there we go. Oh, goody, goody, goody gumdrops. And do that and burn these away. out the way and you out the way. I'm not going to be surprised if either I have to cut him open somewhere else or there is something physically inside. Really because there was not a whole lot here. gonna say there's most likely something somewhere else and up. what the Rolex oh my god oh my god I'm not sure what is, I don't know what to say. A king leech with a crown and everything directly on his heart. That about sums up the insanity of this game fairly well. Also, this is a huge score. I could probably get like 70,000 on this. You see that? This is definitely one I'm gonna have to come back to when I go to the when I try and get delirium. Okay. Those two will sleep for a while. We must find Ariola because we actually know her name now. And yes, that is her name. <sighs> Before she gets hurt. That was also Alan's voice. That was also Probe's voice. That's why he knows who, what her name is. Wait, doesn't she want to kill you? I think the Pearl Girl has been driven mad with grief. It's, if it's me she wants, I should speak to her. This isn't her fault, Alan. Wait, who is that? He's Junkyard Guts. Say hi. Doc, thanks goodness you're here. I think I ate something really bad. I mean, a girl stopped by and gave me a sandwich. She was real pretty. I ate in kind of a hurry. But tasted like metal, and now... She set us up with a bomb. Oh wow, I hope that's a clock. Uh, yep. Ah! What? How do I... I'm gonna restart that, because the game was like, no, I don't want you to pick pick these up immediately, even though one can only assume that's what you need to do in this thing. I... don't know. Alright, so, we have to do bomb defusal. I have zero idea what you're supposed to do here. Can I just point this out? Right. 
Rent. Whoa. What was the time limit? Uh, it doesn't give me a proper time limit on the edge. Do I need to vacuum anything up? No? The game gives me zero ideas as to what I'm actually supposed to do here. Uh, the timer just went down. And those things are sun suddenly lit up. One of these days, game. One of these days. Were those lit up before? Yes, they were. I'm stupid. Alright, let's... Um... What? Okay, if those are lit up... I get it now. Well, that explains a hell of a lot. I never actually guessed that. But a bit of experimenting gets you a long way. Uh, now let's clean up all this crap again. I don't even know, well, I don't know what those orange things are. So, orange. The either edge. And then. One on the left. Careful now, I'm gonna slide the firing pins out of those cylinders. We'll deal with the fuses. Okay. Um. Need to f slide the firing pins. Now, every time you mess up, it increases the time by 10. Where are the firing p Do I need to use this again? No. It's these, aren't they? No? I don't actually get what... I'm supposed to be sliding out here. Well... <sighs> when we come back, I will have fiddled with that enough to actually figure out what you need to do instead of me fiddling about on camera. In fact, it might be another video after this, depending on how short this is. But that is for next time. Till then, see you later.